Now, I know we're all a little annoyed with Bethesda for delaying the game till September 6th, and we're all waiting with bated breath for the whole Starfield Direct, which is going to be June 11th, which was when a lot of us thought it might actually release, but they're not going to do that. They're going to wait till September 6th, and that means a couple of things, a couple of very important things. Number one, they have to release a finished product. If they do not release a finished product, then a lot of people are going to be very annoyed with them for doing that, and there is going to be a lot of fan hatred coming out. And the fans will have a right to be mad. I mean, it's been a long time since Fallout 4, and it's been 11 years since Skyrim. And ever, all we've gotten in between has been Elder Scrolls Online and Fallout 76, both of which had very buggy releases and were not a lot of what the mainstream Elder Scrolls and Fallout fans wanted. We wanted single-player games, and instead we got MMOs, and that made a lot of people very angry and annoyed. And so now we've got Starfield, the first new franchise in years. And because it's the first new franchise in years, it has to justify its existence. I mean, it's a pas passion project from Todd. And if Todd Howard wants us to like it, it better be good. So here's the thing. I personally am going to be cautiously optimistic with this. There's a lot of hope. There's a lot of optimism. But if the game is not good, then I don't see any reason why I should bother to give it a good review. I mean, I started this channel for many reasons. Starfield isn't the only one. I will be covering other stuff. I have some videos on why I think uh, Hollywood can't make good films anymore. But Starfield was one of the reasons. Bethesda is one of the reasons I wanted to do YouTube, because they make so many good games, and I like covering them and I like talking about them, and I love the lore of Skyrim, and I love the lore of the Elder Scrolls series, you know, I've played, you know, every one I could get my hands on, but they have continually taken their sweet time with releasing a new product, and if they don't release a product that's good, if they don't release a product that is polished, then a lot of people are going to be very, very pissed off, and I would not fault anyone for that. You're the paying customer, and it's not right that Bethesda expects us to pay for a game that we have to wait six months for the unofficial patch for it to actually be payable. That's not fair to us, it's not reasonable, and they should not do it. If they're going to delay this game till September, then it has to be finished. And if it's not finished, then there are going to be a lot of very annoyed people. And if there are a lot of annoyed people, well then, Bethesda is going to be in deep kimchi. So, I think everyone needs to be cautiously optimistic for this game. Hold your hype in check, if possible. We don't want a Fallout 4 situation where it releases and everything bombs harder than, well, Hiroshima, on Naga Hiroshima or Nagasaki. We don't want an Enola Gay situation here. But, I would hope that this game is good. And I would hope that it turns out to be a game that we can all get behind quite, you know, and I hope that it is quite the interesting, it has deep lore, and it has quite interesting story and plot and characters. You know, Todd has talked about that in the past, but from what we're seeing, I am going to warn you all, don't get your hype too high, because a delay is never a good sign. It is a sign that things are not necessarily going well. And if they're not going well at the studio, and if they have to delay it, well then, hold your breath and just wait. Because you don't know what could be coming down the pike. It could be an amazing game that we all get behind, and we're all totally thrilled with, and that we're all happy with, but it could also be a very poorly finished and polished title that has a lot of bugs, you know, death claws flying, or dragons being ridden by giants, or mammoths appearing 50 feet up in the sky only to plummet to their death, that sort of thing. Let's just hope that doesn't happen. So, I'm, I'm, what I'm trying to say, I suppose, is this. Be cautiously optimistic, be hopeful, and be good to each other. This is the Heretical Nerd. I am signing off. I will be back at some point in the future to drop a few ti more videos, and I will continue to cover Bethesda. I will probably be, be co covering the Starfield Direct, and, um, yeah. 
So I will see you all then. This is Pete from the Heretical Nerds signing out.